I've made my way into Broad Street Cemetery, entering from the west end. It's interesting the assumptions you can make. Sometimes assumptions are right, sometimes they are incorrect. Uh, one assumption you sometimes can make is whether or not it's the older part of the cemetery based on the gravestones. So here we have a granite, a polished granite, more of a modern stone. And then we transition into a section that is largely composed of marble, marble gravestones. Here's one which has been reset. It probably broke and someone probably properly reset it in the ground. Uh, you, I can see the collar where it originally sat. And then further into the cemetery, I noticed an increasing number of slate. Look at this slate. My friend Tamara told me about these hone marks on the side when that slate stone was turned into a gravestone. That's how it was shaped. Uh, we can make assumptions based on uh, the color, the, the tone, the hue, where, where that slate came from. Did it come from, was it sourced domestically or did it come from Wales? Welsh slate is known for its quality, the quality of the, uh, the facing, the face of the stone and the quality of the bedding planes, which we've spoken about a lot. I would assume this is a high quality stone. I think it is. However, if I look at here, I can see a delamination all the way through the grave marker. Uh, beautiful stones in this cemetery. A very, um, a cemetery that's only a few blocks from the main tourist attraction, but there are not many tourists in this cemetery, and I enjoy that. Oh my gosh, look what happened here. Oh, this stone had been repaired. What happened to bend that piece of metal? Ooh, that's, that's a big break. Sure, but I was able to get away from the main tourist attraction to visit a cemetery with equally as appealing gravestones, the sole effigies and the winged death's head showing his teeth, as is this one. Ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this one, too. I'm continually impressed with the inscriptions on the grave markers. Let's read one, shall we? How about this one? In memory of Captain Samuel Smith, who died September 2nd, 1812, 38 years old, friends nor physicians could not save my mortal body from the grave nor can the grave confine me here when christ the son of god appears the dear companion of my youth come view this weeping stone which brings to mind a solemn truth that we were once but one. Ooh. Oh, a message from him also buried here are two of his children. Benjamin died April 28, 1806, aged four years, six months, and Jonath, Jonna, Johanna died September 28, 1807, aged 16 months. Uh, it is sad. And there is a marble on this end also. Uh, all right. So I have one more cemetery I'm hoping to visit. Um, here in Salem, but the sun is setting, the, dre the, the end of the day is drawing nigh, 
and I must be on my way. I hope you've enjoyed this cemetery, and thanks for tuning in again. Bye-bye.